so for this beta of 7 comma 8 here we are going to apply the relationship between beta and gamma function that is beta of m comma n is nothing but gamma of m into gamma of n upon gamma of m plus n so this term will remain as it is 1 upon 2 raised to 8 into 3 raised to 7 beta of 7 comma 8 is nothing but gamma of 7 into gamma of 8 upon gamma of 7 plus 8 which is nothing but 15 so if you see this can be our final answer but we have to prove that it is nothing but gamma of 6 into gamma of 9 upon gamma of 15 so if you see in the denominator we have gamma of 15 but in the numerator we want gamma of 6 and gamma of 9 so we know that gamma of n is nothing but n minus 1 into gamma of n minus 1 so instead of 7 we can write as gamma of 6 into 6 upon 2 raised to 8 into 3 raised to 7 what is gamma of 8 we also know that gamma of n plus 1 is nothing but n gamma n then gamma of n will be nothing but gamma of n plus 1 upon n because instead of gamma of 8 we need gamma of 9 so how can we convert gamma 8 into gamma 9 so here we have gamma of 8 so gamma of 8 will be equal to gamma of 9 that is n plus 1 upon 8 so gamma of 8 is nothing but gamma of 9 upon 8 okay so we are using this formula into 1 upon gamma of 15 so from here we got gamma of 6 and gamma of 9 so gamma of 6 into gamma of 9 upon gamma of 15 so this term is matching with the given equation okay now we have to just solve for this term so here we have 6 so 6 can be represented as 2 into 3 upon 2 raised to 8 into 3 raised to 7 and 8 can be represented as 2 into 2 into 2 so 1 2 from here will get cancelled and 1 3 from here will get cancelled and we get 1 upon 2 raised to 8 into 2 and into 2 will become 2 raised to 10 into this term is nothing but 3 raised to 6 into this term that is gamma of 6 into gamma of 9 upon gamma of 15 now if you compare this term with this term both the terms are similar so left hand side is equal to right hand side hence proved so this is how we solve the problem on beta function type 2 more such problems we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures